everyone, welcome to my channel. We all admire Nadine for her fresh and alam yon fresh yet seductive look. So without further ado, if you wanna see how I achieve this look, and if you're a Nadine or Jadeen fan, keep on watching. Now the way I see Nadine's look, I'm looking at her sa Instagram. But uh, you know, my basis ako. She always dons this parang everyday, very fresh lang na look. Usually yung eyes niya almost bare eyeliner lang talaga, and then lashes, and then blush, and most of the time then nude lipstick or parang pinkish lipstick. And then kapag may mga special occasion, dun ko nakikita na parang meron siyang red or darker lips. So I'm going to start with the primer first, and I'm using this Eliger Pro Prep uh, HD High Definition, and I'm just going to apply this on parts na mayroong shine. So, on forehead and cheeks lang. And medyo matte yung look niya. Hindi, hindi overly glowy. And then, um, I'm using Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is a matte foundation, oil-free foundation as well. And thank you, Gia. I'd like to give Gia a shout-out for giving me this as a gift. Thank you, thank you so much. And I'm using this. Whether it's my shade or not, I'm going to use this. Feeling ko shade ko naman. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Gia. Wow, that is high coverage. And to blend everything out, I'm going to use this beauty blender and just pat it. At this point, I don't have to conceal much. So I'm just going to conceal and highlight at the same time using this Maybelline's Fit Me. And I'm just going to apply this on my under eye and on my forehead. For my reference as well, I'm using or I'm looking at Jelly Eugenio's Instagram page because he's Nadine and uh, he's Nadine's makeup artist. And when I'm looking at the photos, talagang medyo consistent yung, yung makeup look. After the base foundation, I'm just going to set my under eye with this Wonder 2 Selfie HD Setting Powder. And then on the rest of my face, I'll be using a tinted powder using uh, Gina McCray or yung Beauty Buffet uh, powder. But then, ang gagawin ko, isaset ko muna yung under eye kasi I'll be using cream blush muna. And then later on, isaset ko na lang yun with a powder blush. I just want to make sure na hindi mag-crease yung under eye. For the brows, I'm going to try out something new and I'm going to use this L'Oreal Brow Artist Designer Pro. Sadly, wala lang siyang shade name dito sa mismo product niya or meron, meron code dito but I'm not sure. But this is somewhat parang grayish brown because Nadine's brows are full. So you want to make sure that you use parang um, full colored or parang darker color pagdating sa brow product. And then, it's brown and full pa yung brows. Niya. So, I'm going to use this Essence the Velvets. Uh, and I'm just going to fill in the gaps and just make it extra uh, darker. And we're going to do the other brow in 3, 2, 1. For the eyes, as promised, it's going to be very easy. I'm going to use nude sticks in chocolate. Tapos, maya maya, gagamitin ko din tong a pretty penny ng H&M. And medyo ito yung bronzy kind of shade. Um, Ibe-blend ko lang muna itong chocolate dito sa my outer V. And then para may warm thing eyes, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills at yung Contour Kit. And I'm going to use this, uh, mamaya din sa highlight. I'm going to use this shade right here. And then, i-apply ko siya kung saan tayo nag-nude sticks chocolate. And then, medyo dito sa gitna and kind of all over the lids, gagamitin ko ng H&M eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply this on the center muna. And then, tsaka natin siya medyo ikakalat doon sa taas. And then, using the same velvet eyeshadow kanina yung ginamit natin dito sa may brows, Ang gagawin ko, medyo i-deepen ko lang itong um, crease. I'm going to start here. Now that tapos na tayo sa eyeshadow, punta naman tayo sa eyeliner. And I'm going to use Club Cleo's uh, Gel Presso in the shade 
it's it's color black. And maganda na gumamit na lang kayo ng pencil than gel para mas soft or para mas diffused yung eyeliner. So I'm going to somehow tight line muna. Okay, and then smudge it first. The reason why you have to smudge it right away is that this eyeliner sets very quickly. And then, once na makagawa na kayo ng regular eyeliner, ang gagawin natin medyo i-extend natin siya ng paano lang. Parang straight, hindi siya wing. And then, I'm going to stick on the lashes. Make sure na hindi siya sobrang kapal and sobrang dramatic. Um... All of the looks ni Nadine, almost parang wispy lashes siya, pero hindi overly dramatic. And then underneath the eyes, dito sa may inner corner, I'm going to use the same velvet eyeshadow or dark brown eyeshadow, kung wala naman kayo na to. And then ilalagay ko siya dito sa inner corner, like here. Now it's time for the cheeks. I'm going to use this Nude Sticks uh, Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Kiss. So creamy! And ang ganda ng pagkaka-pink niya. And I feel like it's the perfect pink. Para magmukha ka lang, you know, fresh. Yung ganun. Ganun. I'm going to apply it here. A bit below. Ng uh, cheekbone ko. And then on the bridge of the nose. And then I'm going to set my jawline muna using the Gina McRae. And the rest of my face as well. So dito sa jaw, it's a forehead, mm -hmm. and it's time to contour. And I'm going to contour a bit heavily because looking at her, she's a bit parang chiseled face, as in talagang ganun yung face niya. I'm going to dip my brush dito sa my cool tone dito sa gitna. I'm going to start sa jawline ko. And then sa ilalim ng cheekbone. Just going to kind of sculpt my cheeks right there. For the lips, I'm going to use a lip liner first, and I'm using uh, Kat Von D's Lolita. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to use my favorite nude liquid lipstick. This is Makeup Forever's Artist Liquid Matte in 301. And kapag suot ko to sa Instagram, marami nagtatanong sa inyo. So this is it. It's the 301. And then I'm just gonna put on some hoops and accessories. And we're pretty much done. And then nilulugay ko na lang yung buho ko. 